Hi, this is Dr. Dave. I want to talk to you a little bit about what you're going to be doing in the coming tech assignment. Uh, you've got some data in a project letter. You'll want to go ahead and look at that project letter and get that data. I've gone ahead and ent entered that data here. So here's the cost data. I've put the units in a column and the cost in a second column. So some of the folks on your team are going to need to be working on this data because we need to do a linear fit for this and a quadratic fit. Other students are going to be working with the demand data, so that has units in the first column and the price per unit in the second column. So let me go ahead and show you what some of you are going to be doing. So whether you do a linear or quadratic fit, the process is pretty much the same. We're going to start out and we're going to click on cell A1. We're going to drag it down to the end of the data and then go up to insert and say chart. So remember we normally have to go into this tab up here that says charts and change it to scatter and choose a scatter plot and then say insert and let me move this over a little bit so we have a better view and so right now there's the scatter plot of our data and uh, what we would like to do is go ahead and add either a linear or a quadratic uh, regression function. So since I've called this cost linear grazer, I need all three of those things so I can identify what the data is, what the fit is, and who's doing it. I'm going to be doing a linear fit here, and it's real easy. Just go up and click on the data, grab this button here, and choose linear. Boom, it's on your graph, all set. The only problem here is the rest of the graph doesn't look that good and you haven't displayed exactly what the function is that goes with this. We just have to have the graph on it. So now I'm gonna go up, and grab right here and go into advanced edit. And let's see, since this is cost under chart title, I'm gonna type cost. I'm going to scroll down. Let's see, horizontal axis title. This is units. So toasters. I'm also going to grab here the left vertical and put down cost in dollars. Keep scrolling down here until we finally find, ah, here's my series, uh, and this is what I'm looking for, a trend line. So we've got the linear trend line on here, and I'm going to say use the equation for the label and show the R squared. And you can see up here it's gone ahead and done that in the preview panel. So my formula for this would be y equals 4.546x plus 5566.742, and it's a pretty reasonable fit. Remember, the closer the R squared is to one, the better the fit. Go ahead and say update, and all of that is in the graph. I want to see a graph that has nice labels here, has a title, and also includes exactly what your fit is over here. Now, let's try that for the demand function. So we're going to do a quadratic fit here, so just like before, we'll click in A1, drag down, go up to insert, chart, go over to the charts, choose scatter, choose the scatter plot, click insert, there's our graph, and now we need to go in and uh, add that trend line, so I'm going to click on the data, except this time I'm going to go down to polynomial second order. That means the highest power in the polynomial is x squared. And I can see it right there. It's very slightly curved, or it's pretty straight. And now I'm going to go up, grab the advanced edit, and add some things to this. So I'll put demand for the title, and for the horizontal axis title, I'll put units toasters for 
for the vertical I'm going to put uh, let's see dollars per unit and now we'll scroll down and under label we'll choose use equation show r squared and now we can see all of that stuff there update now the one thing you do need to be aware of take a look at the very first term in my quadratic function it says 9.076 e minus 6 what that e minus 6 means is that's really scientific notation here this all means 9.076 times 10 to the negative 6 so when you write this down you want to make sure you include that times 10 to the minus 6 it, that's a very very small number and the reason for that is this isn't curved very much it only has a very slight curve and the less curve it has the smaller that first term is so remember you're gonna in, within your group you're gonna need to cover a linear cost a quadratic cost and then a linear demand and a quadratic demand there's four possibilities if you have four people in your group it's pretty easy to assign but if you have less than that some group members are going to have to do more than one.